Hello, welcome to Space Battles. Y'all know who it is. Your boy, Gator. Hey, hey, Gator. 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 Hey, G
and this is like one of the this is like one of the few times I ever saw this in. Yo, know, it's like girl like like stepped in between us like it. Yeah, yeah, me and him was talking. Yeah, you yeah, well, you got to you got to step. I was like, damn, she like uncomfortable. She done unblocked the blocker. I don't know how to say that or not, but you know what I'm trying to you know what I'm trying to go with on this one. Wow. He said unblock the blocker. Wow. Oh, I didn't oh, I didn't know how to say it. Did it? Well, but it but you know but you know what I mean though. It's yeah, like oh, I mean, the time blocker came in and it was like, Yeah, she sent the time blocker away. Allow me to like step in because y'all, 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 y'all too PG. I'm, I'm, let, let's get down to the point of what cop blocking is. It's a hating okay. ass motherfucker that can't get no damn pussy. So what he does is he hate on the other guy and say, hey, nah, I don't think he's good for you. So why don't you come at me like that? And you know, there's a lot of hating ass motherfuckers that would do that shit, especially yeah. now. Especially if you don't got nothing, you don't got no job, you unemployed, you getting that social security check, you are you you hating wow. on the other guy because you know you ain't gonna get no place. So I'm just like, you know what? Let me just hate on this motherfucker. That's what pop blocking is. Uh, can I step in on that? Uh, oh hi, ahead. how you doing? Hey. WCC CEO, Mr. Team Bring It. Go ahead, everybody. Go ahead, jump in here. So, um, I'm just going to keep it real. I'm the designated blocker, if if that makes any sense. Um, Uh Uh-oh. And it's only... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Before you say what you got to say. What do you mean? Wait, 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 wait. She's going to tell you. She's going to tell you, but, guys, I I don't know if y'all ready for what she's going to say, because I didn't hear this. I heard about it. I didn't know if it was true or not. Okay. I let them know where the designated cop blocker is, because I didn't heard about this before. I know what she's talking about. <laughs> okay, real talk, real talk. I'm I'm the designated cop blocker because I'm the one that really just has that fuck your feelings attitude. Like, mm-hmm. And I only cock block when appointed. Like, I have to be hired to do this shit. Like, mm-hmm. I have to, like, my homegirl got to give me that cue, like, okay, bitch, get this thing out of my face. Uh-huh. So, um, like, say we're in the club and do it on my homegirl. And with females, we never too far away from each other. Like, because yeah. we all got to hear this fucking conversation. We all got to hear what the fuck he talking about because you talk to one, you talk to all of us at one point. Mm-hmm. So, okay, we already know that Becca is the motherfucking bitch that's going to get the nigga out of the face. <laughs> so, so, like, one of my homegirls will do some shit like lean over and wink or a bitch will flip her hair or a bitch will say some shit like, damn, that's my song, and we'll try to walk away. Mm-hmm. And do it without a chick. And be like, hey, 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 and then that's when I step in, oh, excuse me, get the fuck up off of her, she ain't got time for you, we got shit to do, thank you, and then we'll walk the fuck away, and that's when I grab my homegirl and push her along, and we go on about our business. Then that's usually when I get, you fat ass hoe, with nobody talking to you, that's when I have to read the nigga from his shoes to the top of his head and ask him, can he buy this, pull out a fucking bottle, or why the fuck you not in VIP trying to holler? Okay, you on the floor. Get your ass out of the way. Fellas, mm. pick your mouth up. Pick your mouth up because it's yeah, levels. Yeah, please this pick shit. that up, bitch. I'm going to need for you to put <laughs> that is, back on. It is levels to this shit. I didn't hear it about is. it. That there are women, they go out together. The reason that, just like Becca just said, the reason they go out together, it's one among them that is designated as a cop block. To let them know, yo, I need your help on this. And like she says, she gets the cues. They got all this shit set up before that. Yeah, it's, it's, when I say, it's like sometimes it's not even a spoken, like, it's not even a spoken cue. Like, you can just look at your girl and tell, like, if she's still in a conversation, you stay back. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You let her do her thing, and she's throwing her head back, giggling and shit. Then obviously she want to talk to dude. I'm not the type of bitch, because honestly, I could give two fucks. Like, I don't, I don't, I'm not with that whole 
trying to play that shit in the club because where I meet you is where I'm going to lose you. So I just, I don't be on that dumb shit. So, mm. okay, we're in the club, whatever, whatever. My homegirl, she, she vibing with dude, dude talking to her, whatever, whatever. And she be like, let's go to the bathroom. Bitch, let's go to the bathroom, man. Okay, we need to get the fuck away from this dude. <laughs> like, because you know, if y'all know females, we go to the bathroom every five minutes any fucking way. So, bitch, this conversation ain't worth nothing if you need to go to the bathroom right now after we just left the bathroom. You feel me? Fellas, y'all it's listening just, to this? All no, the fellas dumbfounded. They like what? I'm just saying. It, 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 it's the thing, no, so, like, I love these damn songs. Shit. Like, bitch, you know this whole just freshen up her lipstick. Her lipstick ain't got no smudges. Her makeup flawless, bitch, and it should be like, oh, I need to go to the bathroom. Or like, say, say she be like, oh, um, do be like, can I buy you a drink? Did you say her lipstick was flawless? You no, I said makeup. Make makeup. Oh, this- <laughs> You know her lipstick ain't smudged or nothing. Like, this shit is, her shit is like, she beat to the God. So why the fuck you need to go to the bathroom? I know you got a pee hole. You just got your drink and your drink's still full. You want to go to the bathroom with your drink in your hand? No. And we don't pick up on, guys don't pick up on that shit. They don't pay attention to that. Like, but oh, when you you're drunk bathroom. and you in the club, <laughs> of course you're not going to pick that up. Really? I mean... Of course they're not going to pick up them signs. they be like, oh, I want to fuck with this shorty, so, you know, I'm going to do whatever I want to do. I'm going to go by the bathroom and wait. Yeah. Like a bum-ass motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? He does that shit. But take me out. And the okay. funny thing is, we'll tell the nigga, we'll tell the nigga, oh, we'll be back. And then the dumb-ass nigga will stand right there. At the and same wait. spot where we left it. And you know what? The funny shit is, bitch, we will walk the whole fucking club and never go back on that side. Yeah, because the club be so deep. You don't need to see it. Yeah, and they we walking, over here on the balcony looking at people. Right, right. They walking behind right. people ducking you. <laughs> <laughs> so then, here's another way we call block, too. Like, say mm-hmm. we be, in the, we be in the, on the dance floor or whatever, and always, you notice, friends, always face each other when they dance. Mm-hmm. The chicks always face each other when they dance. And then if a dude come behind her or whatever, the home, or if they side by side, if the dude come behind her, the homegirl going to walk in the front. And while they dancing, <laughs> we looking at each other, and guess what? She asking me, bitch, is he cute? And I'm like, hey, either I give you one of them thumbs up, like, yeah, bitch, and start breaking it down, or I'll be like, ooh. <laughs> 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 or I'll be like, mm-mm. And guess what? When you know that dance, you just start dancing behind a bitch, and they both just walk away? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> you <ain't kidding. laughs> Damn. The all come out, The fellas, the oh, fellas oh, is tripping oh, right oh. now. Wait a minute, wait a minute, I'm going to tell you another form of cop blocking, and, and this might be kind of off the wall or whatever, but I want, I, I want y'all to, like, really hear this, and y'all let me know if this is cop blocking. Now, Jacob, you know that we was just talking about this before sex bouts, right? So I'm going to let everybody know this, all right? So two months ago, I went to um, Charlotte, right? Okay, all right? Mm-hmm. So... I had my shorts on, and you know Charlotte got this like this club, this this entertainment scene or some shit. You know what I'm saying? There's a bar, there's a whole bunch of restaurants, and then there's a club, and there's a bowling alley, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. So I'm up here walking up the steps. You know what I'm saying? I'm, you know, me and my guy, we we laughing and all that shit. You know, looking at females and all that other shit. So I'm seeing a whole bunch of people going with their shorts on, right? So then this one tall, roach-looking, dreadlock-having-ass oh. motherfucker going to sit up here. And, you know, he acted like this 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 guard dog or some shit. So I'm walking past him, and I, he mugging me, and I'm mugging him. And then he going to say, uh, stop. I said, yeah. He said, you can't go in. I said, why? He said, because your shorts is too long. I'm like, uh, what? Huh? Uh, what? Wait, wait, hold on. 
Can you replay that for me one more time? He said, your shorts is too long, so you can't go in the club. I said, hold on. First of all, I'm from Wisconsin. You tell me that I cannot go and bowl because my shorts is too long? He said, well, well, I said, okay, what about that fat bitch over there? What, what about her? Ooh. She up there got she up there got a motherfucking dress on and shit. She about to go and dance on the damn dance floor. A motherfucker just trying to bowl. Well, you can't do that. That's part of the policy. I said, you got one fucked up ass policy. Now, you tell me if that car black or not. <laughs> 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 that is capital V <laughs> I have never ever heard that. Not even when I went down to Atlanta to kick it with Jake. I've never heard no shit like you cannot go and bowl because your shorts is too long. That's crazy. <laughs> I've know. never heard that day in my life. I was pissed off that day. That I was really. I said, that that yeah, that's 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 Straight up. I'm serious, like, you know, it, it's it's a whole bunch of forms of cop blocking, but that one right there, that one was just, that brought cop blocking to a whole new mad. level. I'm just mad that you were going bowling, though. It wasn't even like y'all was going to, like, the nightclub, but you had a bowling. Right, exactly, and I told him that. I told him that. I think he was, like, really pissed the fuck off because he had to work. That's not my problem. I'm a tourist. You're you're the security guard dog or whatever that works at Whacking Hut. But still, I'm no, just saying that. I, oh, oh, I forgot. You, you, you used to no, work for speaking, them. I'm, okay, right. speaking. No, I never worked for Whacking Hut. But speaking on the, really? on the side of a bouncer, because I am a bouncer, there are certain rules as far as the club goes. We don't make the rules. It's the it's either the owner, the promoter. So if you want to get mad at somebody, you get mad at the promoter. Call the promoter out because they will come out if you ask for them. If you Some say yo, let me did talk, not come out, Jake. I need to he talk to a promoter out. or whatever. It might be the club owner if you was at a bowling alley. That's different. But there are certain rules, like it's certain clubs. You can't go in. If you got tennis shoes on, that's just their policy. You know, you ain't able to go in. Like, I ain't sticking up for dude. I'm just saying. Yes, now, you are. As a bouncer, yes, as you a are. doorman. You kind of like it right now. No, uh, as a doorman, <laughs> as a doorman, we get chewed out all night. We get cussed out because the line is long. Niggas ain't getting in the club. Yo, it's free till 12. It's almost, it's, it's like 11.45. And, uh. We just let four people in in the last hour. That ain't our fault. It's because of the promoters. They trying mm. to get y'all money. That's what you need to understand. Well, he ain't get my that, money that, that night, so I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like, screw you, buddy. I, I went to the. I went we got, to another one, so I don't give a damn. Since mm. we got ladies in here, this gonna be shocking to y'all. But ladies get cop blocked too. Mm-hmm. It's not called cop blocking, though. Ready for this? It's called the clam, clam jam. What? I know what? what. It's called clam jam. You been clam jam? That sounds like some Ocean Thirty Two bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's clam jam. Mm-hmm. If you ever had a woman clam try to. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wow. That is the technical name for it. No. Clam Jam. Clam Jam. Clam Jam. Yep. I'm officially That's the technical name right for it. Wow, it sounds like you, you're, you're, you're skinny and you're dry at the same time. That's some bummer. If, if you go to the Urban Dictionary <laughs> online or wherever, you will find this. That's what it's called. It's called Clam Jam. It's the, it's the complete thing that goes on. When cop blocking, but it's towards women. Because women do this shit too. <laughs> they go through the same thing we go do. So it's be clam jamming. <laughs> okay, so when they be clamming, you tell me they put their lotion on first? No, Chris, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm, I'm being a dick. I'm sorry. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't touching that one. Nope. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> I'm not touching that one. 
<laughs> yeah, but that's that's the technical name for it. Just so y'all know, what is it called when that happens to a woman? It's called the clown jam. And I know it's a few ladies in here that's in here right now that know about it. Y'all been done like that. That's what it's called. It's called okay, clam sorry, jam. But are y'all like offended by that terminology, yes, clam yes, jam? Definitely. Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. Well, yeah. it's, it's, it's the urban, like okay. I said, it's the urban dictionary. What does it it's have to do with the clam? Hold on. Exactly. Um, that, that's it. Do not respond. <laughs> Honestly, I don't, I don't know. know. I, I, didn't all all look, I didn't look all that up. All I just seen was, <laughs> did what I did was, was this, is, this is what I did. Who came up with that? I went and Googled. Can you, can I you Google it? I Google. I what is the opposite of cop blocking for women. And it, that's what it and, is. Clam jam. <laughs> and the first thing that popped up, it said clam jam. If oh, anybody's no, got no, a computer no, or no, near a laptop right now. I would have thought he would have said starfish or some shit. Shut up, Chris. <laughs> right. <laughs> Well, like something like nasty, something that like just is bad for yeah, you. That don't sound sexy at all. Yeah, like, I found it. Like, <laughs> I even okay. like, wait, you wait, know wait. hold on, hold on. Queen, you in here? Queen, you in here? Queen, I found the definition. Queen, Queen, pull the definition up. Tell me what it, it is. is a Are clam you looking at Webster's? Please look at listen, Webster's. Listen, oh, listen, a listen. clam, a clam jammer. Is an individual who clam jams, in other words, an individual who prevents a female from getting some hot action, whether intentionally or unintentionally. I've heard it all. Ain't no I was making this no up. I swear, I mean, as soon as I right. seen this with my own eyes, I fell out laughing. I was like, are you serious? I think you it's another word. Girl? I think that's a, I think it's the other word <laughs> I mean, because I think that's a little bit PG. How you to somebody like, that's fighting words. Yeah, that's I mean, they should have like, said, like, like, cut, like, like, cut something, you know. I mean, like I said, yeah, like, shut up, Chris. I don't know what y'all from, but where I'm from, we just call them hoes haters. That's all we do. Like, <laughs> you are a fucking hater, period. Okay, if you want to get in on the combo, we talking about cop blockers, a.k.a. People who block you for getting action. Thank you for not saying clam jam. <laughs> <laughs> you can join us every Wednesday. You can join us every Wednesday from 11 p.m. to 2 p.m. Right here on the Black Talk Radio Network. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, Press the pound key. Again, it's 760-569-7676. The code is 200446. Press the pound key. It'll bring you into the conference where we do our recordings. Uh, sorry about that. Maurice, what were you saying? All right. Well, if the lady, hold on. Since the ladies are offended by the term clam jamming, mm-hmm. what would y'all call it? A hater. Yeah, Period. 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 She said, just a plain out hater. Plain out. Straight up, that whole hater. You know what? To be honest with you, I thought, I thought catfish was was the Shut term. Shut up, Chris. Chris. Okay, <laughs> so, all right. Catfish all right. is so right. totally different. Stop I'm it. sorry. <laughs> no, that's totally different. Hold on. Why I'm you sorry. I'm thinking, well, for, I'm thinking about food right catfish. now. I'm sorry. Did anybody see that episode where the girl was portraying herself as Bow Wow? It was all over oh, Facebook. Was, I didn't have to watch it. It was all over Facebook. Girl, a hot mess. The struggle is real. Fuck that. That the whole shit don't have to pay thousand dollars. The struggle that is straight real. Is. real. You could definitely hey, we spend talk about, We talk about stuff like this all day long on Sex Battles. Yeah, I'll promote my page. Make sure you go like Sex Battles on Facebook. Um, <sighs> First of all, who the fuck want to portray about. Guard dog or bow wow, whatever the fuck his name stupid. is. <laughs> <laughs> why would you ever say him? Like, why did you upgrade? Why you have to choose him? 
Right. You got to go lower standards or some shit. I mean, for real? I mean, get that. Yeah. I'm good. She didn't even look bad, though. Like, why can't you just be yourself? And then this whole sending money out. Like, bitch, I don't care if you want Bow Wow, bitch. If you want to send me 10 stacks, go right yeah, like, the fuck ahead. You can upgrade your artist. Like, like you could pretend to be somebody better than him. What did Pinky yeah, just walk into? We did a show on that, too. Oh, Pinky's here. Hey, Pinky. Hi. Uh, yeah. Watch this. Watch this. Ladies, don't say anything. Ladies, don't I say will... nothing. What, hey, why? Pinky, we're talking about cock blockers tonight. <laughs> oh. Okay. Hey Pinky. <laughs> hey, Pinky, have you ever been clam jam? Wow. Explain. <laughs> um, because there are two ways I can answer this. I can answer it completely honestly, or I can leave some details out to protect the innocent. What do you want from me? <laughs> can we have the second version, please? Give me the second yeah, version, please. Second version, please. No, we're gonna stop. We're gonna stop. We're gonna stop saying clam jammer. We're not gonna use clam jam. The ladies don't like. We don't want well, nothing to do with Pinky, bitch. But Pinky, the rest of the women, the rest of the women don't like the term clam jammer. It actually sounds like a disease. Um, Why? So, hold on, darling. No, no, it just sounds. No, it sounds like, like a I'll tell you what it is. No, it sounds it, like a it, yeast infection. This right? actually, yeah. it's, it's <laughs> actually the technical name. Oh my god! Of what happens to women, as far as quote unquote cock blocking happened to men? Oh, That's the oh, technical oh, name I'm for sorry. it. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, okay. But, I I thought you meant in the literal sense, or. Oh god. Oh, what? <laughs> I do swing from both sides of the fences. What the fuck you want me to say? <laughs> like if, Hilarious. You, ladies, ladies, you might want to run for the hills now because Pinky's about to talk. Now, uh, I have been uh, the female version of what you guys go through, cock blocking, and uh-huh. it's, ne- it's never cute. It's never cute. It's like, bitch, can't you get your own fucking man? Why you got to be all up in my face? Mm. Explain that to me, please. What are you that desperate? Oh, oh, oh! Wait a minute. I know what it is. You want what I have, and you can't. So you're trying to copy me, right? Oh, okay. What? Oh yes. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. You're 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 absolutely right. You know you know what the problem is. What? When we when we get done like that a lot, mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. in your little conversations you have. You mm-hmm. let your girls know everything about you, too. Mm-hmm. Like, man, I don't know why women do that. Well, I tell you, right, yeah, I mean, man, that nigga put it down last night, boy. We just mm-hmm. walked in mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. now, mm-hmm. boy. Mm-hmm. I know because I, I know because I've overheard it, and I'll right. be like, why is she exactly. telling him that? <laughs> do you, do you want to know why females clam, clam jam or? female version of cock block like other females tend to uh-huh. do because we tend to open our fucking mouths about what the hell our man can do. That exactly. Is That's what I'm saying. Hold on, Gator. Hold on, Gator. Let me finish. Go ahead. Hold on, let me finish. It is honestly... Why can't we just abbreviate it? Let's just call it CJ. No, CJ. not really because it's too close to a DJ that I love doing. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> man, well, you know, man, it's too close to a DJ that I love What the fuck? Now... <laughs> Thank you. Now, I will say this. If we do not want to be clam jammed or CJ, I love BJ's better. Um, if we don't want that to happen to us, maybe we should stop talking about our men to these females that don't mean us no fucking good. Mm-hmm. Why don't we just keep mm-hmm. our fucking mouth shut? This way we ain't got to worry about that bitch trying to get in our man's hands because guess what? So none of y'all know what the fuck my man doing, man. And the only reason mm-hmm. why anybody in this house might know uh, we do now have soundproof walls is all the fuck I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> but mama ain't running around to her girls, which I, I got maybe five on one hand. Uh, mama don't run around to her girls telling them what the hell daddy can do a bad No, They just see the glow on my face and the huge ass on my face. That's all the fuck these bitches need to know. Mm. If you don't want to get clam jam, keep your fucking mouth shut. Wait, if, and if you don't want to get clam blocked by... Somebody's what girl, or, or or better yet, your best friend. If you don't want to get caught blocked, put in your mouth the best female to so these dudes and the females while you're at it. Well, I'll tell you this, Pinky. 
we we got told, and I heard about it. Um, y'all have designated cock blockers. Hello. Designated cock blockers. What the hell? <laughs> my nigga said designated cock blockers. Who the fuck is my damn wife? Did y'all miss that conversation? She missed that conversation. She said that she was in the club and she had a designated cock blocker. Where's Becca at? I'm Becky, here. you serious? I'm Becky. here. Uh, if you don't mind, oh. explain to them once again, because some of them weren't in here, what a oh. designated cock blocker is. Designated cock blocker, and it only works for women, because if you have to get a nigga to get a bitch out your face, there's a problem. Um, <laughs> yeah. um, it's when a group of women go out and then... You have that one chick that don't give no fucks, and you got a nigga in your face, and that one chick is the one that will get the nigga out your face. Like, that'll be the one that be like, come on, let's go. Let's go to the bathroom, or let's go do this, or, you know what I'm saying, just to get the dude out of your face. You have that designated friend that knows the signs. Okay, bitch, if I flip my hair, let's go. Or, you know what I'm saying, like, that's your designated cop. Like, it's not like a bad... it's not a bad thing because you want the bitch to do it. Well, yeah, dude, that's, see, that's a bad thing. thing. Sounds like, sound like, sound like a crossing okay. guard. Okay. Stop it, Chris. Hold on, Chris. No, 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 hold on. Actually, no, nah, Chris, you actually, I actually got to roll with you on that one, bro. You said it sound like a crossing guard. <laughs> Call it what you want, but the shit works, and guess what? Your ass sitting there looking dumb. Not us. And the and the issue is the issue is guys don't know this. I've heard about this. Yeah, that's know why they always keep true, getting right? ran over by females because they keep they they walk across the street <laughs> thank without you, looking thank and you, shit. Thank you, thank you. And then by the time thank you know it, here comes the car. Round, <laughs> boop. God bless <laughs> you. <laughs> and homie already fucked up, so you can't call. It. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, mm-hmm. cock blocking, yeah. huh? We, I, we I, got uncensored, so anything you say here. <laughs> and it will be used against you in the court of law, just so you know. LCC might be listening to us and shit. We just playing. And always look, across, and look both ways when you cross the street. <laughs> and make sure that bitch and nigga ain't driving the fucking car. Just playing. Ooh. Crazy. Or you might get clam jammed. <laughs> Starfish. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. I, I, I wonder if, okay. if anybody ever tried this, though. Because if anybody ever brought somebody to block a cock blocker, it's like, oh, oh no. No, 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 really, I don't need all that shit. How did you do that? Oh, oh, no. Only, only guys who are thinking it. it. Because... I know every dude in here right now was just facing I'm sorry, but I was like so traumatized by I can't that. remember I can't remember what movie it was. But there is a comedy out. It's a black comedy where that actually happened, Reese. There's a dude he he kept saying, Oh girl was always with her girl that she was always cop blocking, so he decided to get his own for it. He was like, dude, I need you to keep her busy, bro. <laughs> like wait, a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think I know. Wait a minute. Was it Deliverance think... from Eva? That's exactly yeah, what it was. Think, That's yeah, exactly yeah, what it was. was. Oh, yeah. And the only reason why I know that because I saw that shit yesterday. <laughs> that movie had you me crying. <laughs> that movie. God. Yeah, exactly. It's deliver us and from evil. Oh, uh, and the funny it's thing LL was, Cool J you just hooked up with her too. Dang. Yeah. So what movie it's was it? LL Cool Deliver Us from Eva. Eva, exactly. Oh, that was a Yeah, that that that's exactly where I seen it, Chris. It was hilarious. Mm. He was like, "Dude, I need you. Yo, I just need you to come and take care of this, bro." I just need to the block the time block of ride. <laughs> Yeah, the shit was crazy. That that's cock blocking did, right there. He did his he did his job so well, old girl fell for him. <laughs> that's what kind of happens sometimes. <laughs> I was 
like, wow, okay, hey. Yeah, but if I'm with you on that, Reese, because I know every dude in here is probably thinking, or whoever listening, thinking the same mm-hmm. thing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, man, I don't it's, see a problem. It's like that sometimes. Uh, you're going to be a smart nigga. you got to walk into the thing with a game plan. Now, I don't know about other people, but I know a lot of church groups uh, are all about, because a lot of a lot of Christians, people in church, are about abstinence to marriage. So what they'll do is, to make sure nothing happens on a date, they double date. That happens a lot. Shit, my definition of double dating is we all fucking, what, what the whole thing? Oh, Orgy. wow. <laughs> okay. I don't yeah. think I need to hear that. I'm a different side. I mean, like, really, can you really shut the fuck up? Can you really cop black in church? Where is my pinky? This is bullshit. Oh, yeah, it's I mean, like, really, honestly, I mean, can you really cop block by, you it's know, not getting the Holy Ghost? Just it's, 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 it's been done, Chris. Uh, <laughs> it's been done? Friends, it's a Believe me, it's been done. It's been done. Okay, shit, what church do you go to? What church do you go to? I certainly missed that. Oh, that was that was your question. What church I go to? I won't say yeah, that. No, 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 no. My question was the homegirl. What church you going to, girl? Where they double dating and fucking what? Oh no, no. Well, no. actually, honestly, because that ain't abstinence. No, in all honesty, a lot mm-hmm. of apostolic Pentecostal faith. I'm going to speak on that because I know about okay. it. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. Believe in abstinence until marriage, which means of course. no sex until marriage. Mm-hmm. Right. Now, everybody knows kissing, hugging, all that kind of stuff leads to other stuff. So mm-hmm. it's a gateway. So to clear that out and make sure that don't happen, they double date. Go on double dates, Finley. Yo, let's go on double dates. Something happened, boom, boom, boom. Your girl is there, and she's like, no, nah, we can't even do that. that ain't going to happen tonight. Mm-hmm. Well, your boy is like, bro, don't do that, man. Come on, man. You know, it ain't even. And a lot of people do that. Even in society today, not Christians Mm -hmm. do that purposely because, especially if your fiancé or whatever, whatever, you're saving yourself until marriage, there are people that aren't in church that do that. Mm -hmm. But hold on, though. Let me ask you a question, though. Mm -hmm. But don't you think that the man knows what he's getting himself into already before he asks her out on a date. Hmm. Well, it, it, it kind of depends. So, he, so, she, so it, she, it, you know, he can't play himself because he already knows uh, what it, it is in the first place. Well, no, it all depends, though. It depends because you don't know what's going on in that other person's mind. You don't know. But listen, though. Okay, you go know, ahead. It, and it might turn into something to where I ain't speaking on everybody, but a lot of hmm. people say they're one way and they're actually mm-hmm. not, they play the role mm-hmm. like a mug. Yeah, you of course. You movies about it. it it's got to happen in real life. So, <laughs> I mean, so you, you never know. You never know. So, but for you, know you to have that. Should be like, oh, man, she led me on. She made it seem like this, that, and the third. But once you tell mm-hmm. somebody he is right from Jump Street, and then y'all, gonna, y'all go out on a date or whatever, he won't be surprised because he'll respect you and be like, okay, you know, you don't want to take it there. I respect you. We'll go out to eat. But we'll have fun but, and but listen to this. whatever, whatever. And listen at the same this. time, you're reading the Bible from John 316 verses and shit. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and we don't mean all 316. But, but, but listen to this. Just like ladies are shocked when dudes go back mm-hmm. on their words about stuff mm-hmm. that they done said, it's women that push up on me. But that's me, though. Thank they always go back on their words. But, Thank you. Yeah, I'm just so saying. let's just not put it all on the dude. No, no, all I'm saying is sometimes there are men, and I respect mm-hmm. the hell out of them, because uh-huh. there are men that aren't ready for that. They they already know, just like women are, it's not always women that say, no, I ain't, I ain't trying to have sex with you. That's not what's going on. It's some men out here that feel the same way. Hey, I don't want to wait until I get married. Absolutely, you're absolutely right. I, I wouldn't be right. you like that. I think it would be more important 
if we get married and then have sex. Do There's a lot of dudes out here that, that feel that way. And they get, Trudy, they I get down. I have not a man that has said that ever. Yeah. Well, that I'm would be saying, that would be great though. That would be great. But they're but they're out there though. I mean, yeah, just because you don't see them and you haven't heard from them and you don't talk to them, don't mean right. that they ain't there. They're there, right? Believe True. me, they're there. I know, I know a lot of dudes. My uncle, rest his soul, my uncle was on this earth for forty six years. Listen to what I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. My uncle was on this earth for forty six years. Never had sex, ever. What? He was never married. Never in his life. Never in his life. He never got married. He was in the church. He never had sex. Mm. He got killed in Africa, mm. being a missionary. Never had sex. So I know I, there is people it. out there, huh? Yeah, they're out there. They yeah, out absolutely. there. Absolutely, absolutely. I believe that. I mean, okay. not everybody. Is out for that, and I'm gonna go ahead and piggyback on what she was saying when she was agreeing with you. I agree with mm. both of you guys that women, even when a man is like, "No, you know what? Let's wait or whatever," they'll still go after it. I'll see exactly. That's the truth. Yeah, you're right. It's you are so now. right. And I, re- I it's respect what now. you're saying because it's the truth. And, and I mean, and, and, and women get get push up on dudes, and the dudes got women. Yes. So it's like, yes. and then we always be like, well, he don't respect me. How you? How how is he going to respect yes, you when you don't respect CJ yourself? Then, pretty much. Now, we was having a conversation early, and the young lady was talking about she had these different guys. She couldn't be on the show because she had to. She had to go to work this morning, but she was talking yeah. about she had these different guys, and right. she told us the guys. I think it was about four of them. Wow. Um, she was trying to figure out, um, this was probably earlier before y'all came in, um, which mm. one she should talk to. And I had a conversation with her on Facebook about this, too. Two of the dudes were married. Oh. Uh, she uh, wrong was married. already. She wrong already. Sounds sound like my whole life. And, and what she told me, what she, the way she told me is these guys come at her. Like, it's a lot of people out here in this world who believe mm-hmm. <laughs> if they tell you certain things, you won't talk to them. Mm-hmm. So they'll leave out, they'll leave out, oh, I'm married, we're right. separated. Or I'm married, we still stay together, but I, live, mm-hmm. I, stay, I sleep on the couch. They'll no, leave no. stuff like that out. They'll leave no, stuff like no, that they out. they do say that. Now, they do say that. Yeah, they, true, they, true. They say that. Now, my thing is, this is this is my thing. This is just me. This is Jason. This is just me. If you marry, and I'm speaking on my own experience because mm-hmm. legally I'm still married. Mm-hmm. Technically, I am. Me too. <laughs> as soon as as soon as my ex did what she did, I left. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, if that if that dude, I almost said nigga. If that dude is still <laughs> in that situation, now, now I tell women straight up because I feel like they should know everything about my background. I should put everything on the table just so you know what's going on. Yeah, mm-hmm. so you'll know if you want to deal with me or not. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. It's up to you. I mean, I ain't got that. Why would I hide all this? So my situation, just like she told me her situation, uh, the dude pretty much didn't tell her what was going on until later on. They okay. reeled her in. We went on a date. We did this. We did that. Boom. Mm-hmm. Oh, by the way, I'm married, but we separated right now. Lying sack well, of shit. <laughs> if you're still living in the same house, like I had a dude, I'll I'm, I'm tell you like this. I had a, a, a woman come to me. And she's a real close friend of mine, and tell me that she was dating this dude. And I was happy for her. I was like, that's what's up. Okay. And then she told me, dude was married. I Uh-oh. said, wait, what? wait, hold on, what? What you mean he married? Well, they separated. Oh, so he not staying oh, there. Oh, I know what you're saying. No, Just the, no he's still living in the house. Before we came on this. Yeah, he's still living in the house. No, this is a different one. He said she still living in the house. 
he's only there because he wants to see his kids. <laughs> I'm like, man. She sounds to make sure we can tell nobody oh that. Oh, my God. That that. But oh check my this God. out, though. But check this out. It's probably real. The girl, his wife probably told him, if you leave, you can't see your kids. Oh, okay. Reason okay. I said that, reason I said that, I'm going through that. I know about that. So I know it happens. Um, so he told her, he said, yo, the only reason I'm doing this is because of this reason and woo, 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 and whatever, whatever. He's mm-hmm. sleeping on the couch. She sleeps in the room. Okay. All right, I understand that. I got you. Mm-hmm. Legally, she can't do that. She can't. This is what I told. That's what I told her. I said legally, that's not. Yeah, he, if she knew the law of what goes on and her rights, he mm-hmm. can't do that to her. I didn't know that at first until I had to go to child support um, court, and I found mm-hmm. out all this through these classes I was made to go to. Legally, you can't do that. You can't say, yo, you can't see your kid. If you leave, right. you, it's a wrap. No, you can't do that. Can I say and something I like her, that? I said, wait, how long has this been going on? And she said, he told her they hadn't had sex in over two years. Uh, I, I ain't being judgmental or nothing, but if but she ain't left in two right. years, he's it probably like not a lie. He fucking... <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a lie, because ain't nobody going to stay, stay under the same roof with somebody and not even try or, you know. Okay. Or, or, or maybe a sound right. Exactly. But, like, women, but listen to what I'm saying. What I'm telling y'all is it happens. That's what I'm saying. Right. Absolutely. That, that kind yeah. of stuff goes on. Right. Uh, but I just feel like as a say. woman, like, you uh, should know better. Like, a married man, you should know better. That's 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 hands off. That's a covenant that they have made with each other, with God. Mm-hmm. You just you just can't mess with that. I mean, if but, he's married, like said, you can back off and be like, you know what? I'm gonna go I'll elsewhere be because how you get him is how you gonna lose him. You can't mess with a married man and expect everything to be peaches and roses. Like now, I now, said, now, now, because it's, it's it's only I have the wrong way. Uh-huh. I, I, I have an honest question, guys. Okay. What's your question? A long story short, I have been separated from my husband for nine years. Wow. Well, we all know my ass is crazy, and the reason why I left him nine years ago, because, yeah, whatever. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> <laughs> what? He decided to put his hands on me. I decided to lay hands back in the water uh, before uh, Thank you. Yeah, I know. Go ahead, thank you. Okay. I'm listening. Now, now, I have a question. My man, my current, thank you, is... I've never been married, any of that. Is he wrong mm-hmm. for messing with me, although I have moved on from my second husband, which I'm in the process of filling out divorce paper, which that is hard as hell to do on your own when nobody else knows around you. Is he wrong for messing people, with me, or, or is that a different story? Pinky, what I, I just thought about, I, you. I, give you, I, I, give you, I give you a heads up. Yes, I, don't know if your, I don't know if your husband is in the same city or state you're in, um, I, the I know easy, he's not in the same city. Last, last time I checked, he was in California Central. California. The easiest way to do this, and mm-hmm. y'all hear me on the air, I'm saying this to the ladies that's out there. If you go going through this, the easiest way, I just found out myself, and I'm going to do it. Take an ad out in the newspaper. Okay. And all you basically got to say, from what I understand, is that you're looking for your husband. Okay. Basically, that's what I was told. I'm going to look it up further and give you more. I'll let you know okay. more about it. I'll put Please it on do, the sex side of the page. Yeah, I've got, I've, I've got paperwork that teach me, you know, classes on yeah. how to, you know, publicly state that I'm looking for this sorry sack of whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And basically, <laughs> basically what I was told, if they're mm-hmm. not responding in a month's time, uh-huh. legally your divorce is finalized. They will finalize wow. it. Wow, just like that, huh? I just, just, a, just, I just a found this out. Right? I just found this out. Like, if I would have known this a year, two years ago, oh, it would have been a It would have been a wrap. Okay, I just well, found I'm, this I'm, out. I'm, 
I'm, so, I'm here to do all that. Okay, so going back to my question, is he wrong for messing with me? Although I've moved on, haven't seen him, or heard a peep from him in nine years. Am can I, I answer that? Can I I wrong quick? for moving on with my life or what? I want to know what the ladies something? think about it. Go ahead, go ahead. Let me... Okay, first of all, I want to tell, I want to say to you, I commend you. I commend you for that because at least you're not being the type of woman that's just settling with just being separated. Mm-hmm. Nah. Most women, they get, they get that into their mind and they think that it's final. A separation is like a break. You guys are basically exactly. taking a break from each other. Mm-hmm. And just exactly. to, go, to, go, to go through with the divorce, I've never been married. I don't have any kids. So... I commend you for doing what's right and being like, you know what, it's over with and we're going to do it the right way. We're just not going to be separated. Because people just think it's cool. Once we separate, I don't have to deal with you no more and blah, blah, blah. But legally, you got to go through you the still divorce do. to really you actually still do because that person out of your life. Exactly, so because financially I'm still tied to him. Financially, I'm still tied to him. Financially, he's still tied to me. Although it's been nine years since I, I haven't seen the motherfucker, I still have to go through with this, and I'm doing this by myself. That's you know? why I said I commend you. And I don't oh, feel that you. the person that you're with is wrong with messing with you because at least you're a woman enough to handle your business. I I, I have to because, I mean, and I, I'm not, you know, hexing anything, but it's like barring you know, something drastic happened between me and my current, I see wedding bells in my future, and there is no way in hell I'm going to make that, you know, stand before God and my family and my close friends and people that love me while I'm still tied to somebody exactly. else. Exactly. And that's oh, number please. one. And number two, I, I wasn't ready to move on from that, feel me? I wasn't ready yeah. to deal with all that. I have, I have divorce papers sitting in, in, in my bag in the living room right now, and I cried. Every time I open them, every time I fill out the paperwork, I cry because it feels it feels like a part of me has been ripped out because right. it's no longer I'm being separated. I am making the strides to make this final. I want to be done. I want my. I mean, yes, yes, I'm going by my maiden name, but I want it to be legal. I want all of my debts. <laughs> You know, in my name, I don't need him, you know, his debts or whatever are dragging me down anymore, but it it hurts. I'm not going to lie. It, it hurts like a bitch, and it seems like the only person, not saying nobody else gets it but my man. He doesn't understand what I'm going through, mm-hmm. but, you know, a hug, a kiss, something, baby, you all right? You know what I mean? While I'm sitting across the table from him filling out these paperwork, and, I'm, you know, tears are falling on my face. He stops whatever he's doing. Baby, you okay? No, nah, I'm not okay. He's like, I, I don't know what else I can do. He wants to do more. I'm like, babe, you're doing everything I asked you to do right now. I'm, I'm not expecting you to understand. I'm not expecting you to get it. But as your woman, I'm expecting you to understand, to understand me. Understand mm-hmm. me and my feelings and understand that, yeah, you've never been married. You're not, and, 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 and you're not going to fill out these divorce papers. But you understand me and you understand that I'm hurting. This isn't about him per se. This is about me and, you know, everybody's like, well, you should just be fine with it. What? <laughs> Cop blocking motherfuckers? What? <laughs> These the same motherfuckers feel me? Come on now. That, that's try, that was telling me nine years ago that I, I, I married him for all the wrong reasons. You're goddamn right I did. I married him because my family wanted me to. I married him because of financial security. Well, you see where that got me. <laughs> feel me? Mm-hmm. It's if, if, if like if, if something that I never want to experience again. I, I've, I've been divorced. My first husband, God rest his soul, filled out the paperwork himself. All I had to do was sign it. Sign it, you know, mm. separate the assets, whatever, but I'm doing this. And it hurts my heart to know that I'm, I'm a statistic now. I'm not just separated. I'm getting divorced. You know, I'm 38 going on 40. Nine years too late, feel me? But I, I should have been done this, but I wasn't ready to do it. Now that I'm ready to do it, it's like, really? This, yeah. is how I'm, this is how I feel? How I feel is something that nobody should ever feel. Yeah, nobody should ever feel a, lonely and all that. You get to a point to where you get fed up. You get right. You, on, a, on, a man's, on a man's side, I feel Talk you. I cry every day of my birthday. I mm. cried like a dog because my mm. daughter's birthday is two days after mine, and I haven't Aww. seen my daughter 
since she was a month old. That's when her mom grabbed her and took off. And then wow. threw it in my face. That's when I wow. haven't seen her since. Every time I try to go see her or uh-huh. she's supposed to come this way to see me, she finds uh-huh. out I'm in the equation and she tosses it. Mm. I didn't know legally she can't do that. I had no, no. idea. I'm paying child support. You gonna let me see my daughter? See, I didn't know yeah, that sure. until I went to these these classes. Mm-hmm. I cried like a dog last year. I got off Facebook because I couldn't be on there because I was tripping so hard. I couldn't remember what my daughter looked like. Damn, Damn. literally. Whoa. That's how that's how bad it was. I didn't even remember what she looked like. And I hit wow. my sister up like, dude, y'all need to get a picture of my daughter so I can see her, so I can know what she looked like. I don't remember. That's wow. how bad it is. On a, on a man's point, it's bad enough that a man has said so, and we brought up that we're supposed to take care of the household, take care mm. of all the finances, all the business, everything yeah. that's taking place. I did that. I I was doing that when I was there. And I told her, if you leave this city, it's a wrap. She got Mm -hmm. on the bus and went to Pennsylvania. Mm. She got to Pennsylvania, hooked up with a dude, and threw dude in my face with my daughter. Mm. Believe me, on our end, we feel the same shit y'all feel. Believe me. I know exactly what you're going through. It killed me because I could not remember what my daughter looked like. I was mm. like, ain't this a bitch? This is some bullshit. Like, did you ever try to go to court? Or my what? birthday you is... can't legally do that. No, she cannot legally, legally do that. That's crazy. Legally. Now, this I didn't know. I had no idea. Legally, by law, mm-hmm. she was wrong. And I could have had her put in jail because she yep. left the state. You didn't state. have to know that by law. Baby. I didn't, you should always I didn't, know that. I didn't know. I had no idea. I was ignorant to the fact this is my first child. I've never been married before. This is my mm. first marriage. In my life, like I said, Pentecostal, apostolic, we, we, believe in, we believe in abstinence until marriage. We believe in if you marry someone, that's yeah. for life. That's yeah. it. There is no divorce. There is yeah. none of that. My parents oh, have life. been together. My parents have been together almost 45 years. Wow. That's very unheard of nowadays. That's yes. beautiful. Yeah. I that look at beautiful. my parents like, dang. Now, I didn't say my parents go at it. Literally, like, I've seen them go at it. At the end of the day, it's all hugs and kisses. Everything is great. Mm-hmm. Every relationship ain't like that. With mine... She liked to fight. That was her problem. I'm not a fighter. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna put my hands on no one. Okay. And every time, it was crazy. This sex battle, we talk about everything in here. Hey, she would, she would want to fight, and it would turn her on. So as soon as she fought me, oh, she was ready to go to the bedroom. She ready. What? Are you are you serious? Okay. Wait a minute! You want to fight and now you want to fuck? No. Yeah. Yeah. It turned her you on to fight. Okay. As a matter of fact, no. me and my ex, me and my ex was trying was trying to have a kid for for about eight months, mm. and because of her past relationship, she got beat up real bad and. She had issues with having conceiving and holding the child and all that kind of stuff. And uh, I knew, I always knew when she had got pregnant. She didn't even tell me because she was outside swinging a bag. I always knew when she was pregnant. She was outside fighting somebody. I knew it. <laughs> okay. Right. I would drive up. I would drive up from work, drive into the parking lot, and she would be outside with that bat. And my stepson would come running to the car. Hey, pops, you better come on up here and get mom. She tripping. Oh man! Mm-hmm. As soon as I, as soon as he said something like that, I'd be like, damn, she pregnant. 
Damn it. Damn it. She's swinging back. The bitch is pregnant. Wow. But like I, I said, in that I relationship, the courage right there. In right that now. relationship, that relationship alone, I was lied to from the jump, like from the beginning. Mm. I didn't even know the truth when I put my thing, the ring on her finger, and I figured everything was good. What messed me up is when my wedding day. <laughs> and I was talking about this the other night at the bar with my homeboy. My wedding day, mm. her brother, my soon-to-be brother-in-law, walked mm. up to me and said, You look nice, bro. All right, I like the tux. He said, Hey, I hope you're ready. What? This is going to go down. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you talking about, bro? He said that. He said that, turned around, and walked away. And I was like, what the, if, you could, if you could imagine the look on my face, like, what? what, what? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you like, saying like, that, nigga? Why? Like, hold on, like, hold on, wait a minute. Like, like, you're going to have to, like, you're going to have to, like, this is almost like you have needed to do a, hold on, wait, freeze frame. Like, yeah, you need to, you I, need to, I did. And you need to look at the camera like, wait. Like, like, wait, wow. like, until, until that day, I didn't see anything. Like, she hit it good. I saw nothing. As you soon as the ring went on her finger and I said, I do, yeah. it was like, oh, he's, he's, mine. No more. he's mine now. I ain't got to worry about it. Ain't no front no more. And that's oh. when I found out. Everything, and if I was if I was to tell y'all everything, the show would be over, and we'd be at the after show. That's, That's how much like, stuff that wow. I found out. Damn. And I was like, "Are you serious? Mm-hmm. I've been fooled like that." And because oh, of crap. and because of me being in love and not seeing certain stuff, yeah, uh-huh. she got me. <laughs> Apparently, she did. Yeah, oh, she got, got you. Got it got you and got you good. To this day, I'm scared of Pisces, but it's not Pisces' fault. Don't act like that. <laughs> don't be, hey, 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 nigga, don't be blaming us water signs, you bastard. I'm a cancer. Don't be blaming us water signs. Uh-uh. Hey, I'm a not Scorpio. Not all of us but... that crazy. Not that, hey, hey, I'm a cancer. I'm psychotic as they come. We, 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 we. But uh, you're listening I'm, to I'm the same right now. Yeah, that, this show, uh huh, this show, right here. You listen, you listen to the same battles. We talking about <laughs> your crazy ass wife. Hold on, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Well, wait a minute. hey, girl, she listen. My man knows my crazy. Text. Thank you. You yeah, talking? To, you listen to the same battles right now. You want to call in? All you got to do is call seven six zero five six nine seven six seven six. That's seven six zero five six nine. Seventy six, seventy six. The code to the conference is two zero zero four four six. Make sure you press that pound key, and you will get in on this conversation. We talking about cop blockers tonight. We getting in on mm-hmm. everything like we do always too. on sex battle. Clam jumping, clam jumping. We know you say something. <laughs> Yeah, Wait I was say, hold on. I want to defend that. Um, what was that you say about cancers are psychotic? What Pinky did. What Pinky did. What Pinky did. What Pinky did. Pinky did. Pinky did. Let me let me explain. Pinky did it. I what? did it. It wasn't gay. It was all on me. We might be nuts. Don't be blaming all of us water signs. Uh, cancer, no. Scorpio, Leak, no, Leak, no, that's hey. not what I said. That's not what I said. Pinky, if you heard that, I am you, a Scorpio. You said the Pisces. I know, honey, Scorpio, and you said the Pisces. I'm a Pisces, too. So, Wait a minute. Can so I, I didn't say, okay, let me clear this up. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, I did not say uh-huh. Pisces were crazy. I didn't say that. What well, I said was, well this is what I said, it. and y'all can replay it. You can you can listen to it after we put it on YouTube. What I said was <laughs> Pisces scared me. Now mm-hmm. she's, speak up for the Pisces. She's the, she's the bottom part of the Pisces. Now, I don't know about the top, but in her defense, 
She got issues. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Okay, what, Damn. Did, what did you want to say about the Pisces? So Somebody listen. said cannot speak. Uh-huh. Yes, you're Jada, you and I have this conversation all the time. Wait a minute. Is that better? Yes. And, okay. Yes. Next. No, don't do me. <laughs> don't do me. Damn. I'm just playing. Go ahead, Becca. Gator and I have this conversation <laughs> all the time because um, we got into a, a, a situation where I was like, when's your birthday? And he was like telling me his birthday, and I was like, oh, hell no. Nah. Fuck Scorpios. I hate Scorpios. Da, 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 da. So we had this whole <laughs> back and forth thing where I have this issue with Scorpios, and he has this thing with Pisces. So we both trying to figure out, okay, so who longer? Like, y'all or me? Like, I mean, but Pisces, we are- but me and Becca click. We'll never get. We'll never snap on each other. <laughs> I think Gabe is me though. I think, I think it's because me. see Becca does. Becca is also a show host. She's a talk show host. She does a show on uh, actually the network that we going to. And um, yeah, I didn't heard Becca on her show. Pretty much give it to some dudes. I mean, live on the show. And I'm the type, when I hear that, I press mute real quick. <laughs> I don't want to say nothing out the way because I know, come on, it's a lot of dudes that don't know. The deal is, fellas, let me give y'all this tip. Y'all listen to me. This is a tip, folks. She's always right, folks. She's not wrong. She's right. Fellas, listen to my tip. If we only... If y'all only knew this tip, y'all would get into, I mean, you wouldn't get into so much trouble that you get in. Now, the first time that I heard Becca go at this what? dude on the show, he basically was telling her she was wrong. <laughs> what? Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm sitting there. I'm sitting there listening to the show. Everything's going well. I'm listening to the show. And dude just, no, nah, man, no, nah, you wrong. No, nah, that ain't right. Such and such, such and such. And this is the first time I heard it, and I was like, oh, he said, get it. I just put my phone on mute real quick. I was cracking up. Because she just, she said, okay, okay, can I talk? Can I talk? Hold on, can I talk? And next thing you know, she said, hey, put him on mute. So they muted, dude. And Becca just went in on this dude. <laughs> wow. Oh, I, like I, was like, I was like, oh, not going to call her. <laughs> I like her. No, That's but let me tell you that, bro. The thing What's about Pisces is we only do that when you force our hands. Right. Well, see, right. I ain't talking that. about. Like, don't force my hands, though. Don't do that. I, I wasn't really talking about Pisces per se when I say that. I was basically saying women in general, but I've seen Becca at, you know. Oh, God. <clears throat> <laughs> and she said, oh, God, what did you do, Becca? What did you do, girly girl? What did you do? I'm an asshole, and I'm, I'm not the first person to admit that I'm a fucking asshole. Well, like, okay, Becca, what is your role on the show? Tell me about like your role. What is what your you role? I, oh, Gator gave me this nickname, too. I am the enforcer. Every time yeah. something goes down, all the other women shut up and that just comes out of nowhere. Like, what the hell? Oh, wow. I don't take no <laughs> shit. Like, especially, like, with my show, I have three other female co-hosts. You understand? Okay. And we all have different opinions, but we all respect each other. And it's like, okay, we have one that's approved. We have me that's just the outspoken, shown, whore, whatever you want to call me. I do me. <laughs> then we have we have Twinkle, who's the I'm married, but I flirt with everybody and their granddaddy. And then we have Lyric, who's just there. We don't know how what? to do you need to stop. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Can I come on this show? Huh? Can, can I come on the show? You I, can I definitely come to the like, show. We have a show this every like night, actually. We, let's we do go, go to a show after. Let's go to a radio show. 
Yeah, let me go put ahead and do show, that. Put your show out there. So. On my shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, go I, ahead. Yeah. No, that was, that's why I did that, so you could tell people about your show and everything. Um, yeah, I just want to know how did you get started. It's on Blog Talk. <laughs> It's on Blog Talk Radio. It's called Grown Folks Playground. So if you go to blogtalkradio.com, type in GF Playground. We're right there. We have a show every day at 9 o'clock um, p.m. It's Monday nights are the best nights because that's when every – well, Gator don't call until 10 o'clock, but that's when well, my show be random. I told you my show was on. That's yeah, all I know. So y'all have to wait. <laughs> <laughs> you heard, damn, I like her. It's, it's, we have Monday night, which is like an, an, a random conversation, and then we have um, Tuesday night, which is the meeting in the ladies' room. Those are the most like those are the two most important shows. Everything else is just kind of random, but Tuesday night is the meeting in the ladies' room where we have like open discussion with all four hosts, and Gator comes in and does his little thing. I think he's like our unofficial co-host, male co-host. Really? Don't have too many really? That call <laughs> he's at the show all the time. You know what I'm saying? So I love go going. On the Go show, ahead. I I'm love going on the show because like <laughs> because honestly, like y'all, Queenie, uh, and, and the rest of y'all that be on the show on the regular, and and and, and uh, the rest of y'all, damn, I ain't got I no fucking miss, name. Here. Come on, it's Pinky, I'm gonna need you to chill out. Okay, Pinky, Queenie, and the, and the rest of y'all. I don't want to meet the, nobody because uh, I'm gonna be messed up. <laughs> See what I'm saying? We get. I'm damn wrong. You. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Pinky. Pinky, I apologize. I'm telling JJ on you. Pinky, I apologize. I was wrong. I'm telling JJ. Shut up, Ken. Pinky, I apologize. I was wrong. I know, I know, I know. I know. I know. It was wrong. You would love this show because they don't bite their tongue on that show. I'm talking about. Oh, they go in. I'm talking yeah. about, I'm sitting in this, like, what? You just said it, didn't you? Okay, never mind. <laughs> that's what she said. I like it. I will be, they, yeah. They're, they're, just, in. they're just like sex battles. Listen. So they go yeah. in on their shows. We be so, snapping, yeah, and then we be like, where Gator at? Gator be done put his up on mute. We be like, come on. I'm on mute. mute. No, I ain't got nothing to say. I ain't got nothing to say. Y'all ain't going to pull me into this. I'm the only dude in here? No, I'm good. Um, <laughs> like I said, uh, that's funny. No, I'm just yeah, playing. Man, not get anywhere I'm just playing. Like RPS, I, I mean, if you're a smart man, you know when to shut up and bow out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, but, but Gator, 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 uh, some, yes. of y'all, some of y'all men don't have that shut up factor built in within you. Some that of y'all is true. Don't. Be quiet, I live with three of them. I live hey, with three why of them you and they all know when to fuck up. I'm just playing. You got to bring me in, though. Like, really? No. I don't know how to shut the fuck up. I thought that I was you in the background laughing. I thought that was you laughing. My bad. Do you I was laughing, when but I you don't want to talk to say I'm nobody. Damn it, y'all. What'd you say, Jeff? Do you remember that day um, when my cousin called in? I didn't know it was my cousin, and my cousin came in. He came in totally disrespectful. Like, oh yeah. Oh my god! Like I didn't even know it was my cousin. Like, so uh-huh. we talking, and then the guy gets on the line, and he like we're like, hey, call it, and dude was like, what y'all in here talking about? Eating pussy? And every, like it was like the record scratch. <laughs> Wait, Paul. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and and my other host, Nikki, she goes, she goes, um, Chunky, I think we might want to give him the rules because I don't know what he's aware. <laughs> like, Y'all know Nikki. Y'all know Nikki. She used to be on sex panels all the time. Nikki. Y'all know who else. You know who she's talking about. Damn. Nikki is completely different on their show. She's not. <laughs> wow. She'll be going off. She's the meek and humble one on that show. Right. Right. <laughs> wow. Uh, I yeah. She's I'm the kidding. oldest, though. Nikki's the oldest, so she has to play, like, that big sister slash mother role. <laughs> so when we get out of line, Nikki's like, wait, let's talk about this. And I'm like, nah, just put that big on fucking mute. Let me tell this bitch by yourself. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm definitely yeah, calling so, that. This is beautiful. Yeah, uh, she posts, they usually post on my page, 
what's going okay. on, when the show is, and everything. So if you pay attention to uh, my timeline, it will pop up. That y'all usually y'all shows usually start at what nine? Nine o'clock. It's every nine. Yeah, nine, okay. nine Monday through Fridays. Yeah, oh, but no. call in, call in on Mondays and Tuesdays. Those are the best days because everything else is just oh. like dead water. <laughs> okay, okay, and yeah, uh, yeah. But, uh, somebody send me the number because yeah, I'm yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, number you have the number? I'm to, you know I got the number. Go ahead. Three four seven three zero eight eight six one zero. Three four seven three what? <laughs> Three zero eight. Uh huh. Eight six one zero. Eight six one zero. And their show is called Chunky B, and Miss Nikki are the hosts. That's the host of the show. Okay. It's called called what again? It's called On the Line with Darling Nikki and Chunky B. We'll do. Three four seven. I think I know that joke. Yeah, 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 of course you do. That's a New York area code, Yeah, that's New York. That's a New York area code, Eddie. Uh-huh. Yes, it is. I'm yeah. like, I didn't know that one. But, oh. Wait, so wait, what wait. we're talking about. Huh? Wait, what's the number? Wait, what's the number again? 347. 347. 307. 308. 308-8610. 8 Warning, warning, listen to what I'm going to say. Warning, word to the wise, if you call into this show and you just put yourself on mute and don't say nothing, you might be put on blast and put out in the open. (laughs) I like it. No, I'm just playing. They probably only do me like that because they know it's me. (laughs) Well, Well, you know what? Well, you know what? I'm not gonna. I'm I'm gonna dial in, but I'm not gonna even be on the. I'm just gonna be in the. Uh, what's with the listening section? So y'all won't even know. Well, listen. Well, we get in the mood where we like. Oh, we got a bunch of callers. Okay, we'll open the fucking lines. We gonna talk to all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, Everybody. Everybody. I like it. Hello, caller. Uh, <laughs> hello, uh, hello, okay. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, is it, is it just like a group discussion? Yeah, basically. Yeah, they, on, do, on they night, do like, oh, go ahead. On Monday nights, it's, a, it's just a conversation between me and Nikki. Me and Nikki will not talk to each other all day Sunday, all day Monday until the show. That way it's kind of, it's fresh. It's it's not like some scripted conversation that we have. Because the shit that we Aww. talk about is ridiculous. So we figured yeah, we just record it. It's just a regular conversation. And maybe after, like, 20 minutes of us just, like, rambling on about bullshit, we open up the lines, and we, we actually end up with topics because the shit that we talk about, you know, other people have experienced or, or they've got input on it. So uh, we do a good three-hour show just by random mm-hmm. conversation. On Tuesday, we try to have a topic, not necessarily. We'll start off with one topic and then end up way left field talking about something else. But, you know, that's just what we do. Like, it was like last night, last night I was on a um, show from a group that I was in. You know, they was talking about, like, um, like you know, niggas that don't use condoms and shit like that. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. that was one of the- yeah, that was one that of the, was our um, that was our discussion last night. We were talking about um, what would you do if you had a partner or somebody that you were just really digging, and before you guys decided to go to that next level of having sex, they said, "Hey, um, I got an STD or STI." Like, what would you uh, like? Do you do you hang out with them still? Do you do you go ahead and accept? Yeah, that it? was a good. You know? That was a good combo. <laughs> I run the other way as fast as my legs can take me. Okay. What if, you're really, what if you've developed yeah, feelings for this person? Now? Like, like, my you seem old on Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Wait, feelings can lead to STDs. I'm good. Yeah, I know that's right. I know that's right. Catching <laughs> feelings is the same thing as catching the STD, Mama. Good. <laughs> yeah, they I know that's right. But you know, we have people in there that was just like, "Well, I'll still be his friend," but me, I was like, "Listen." I couldn't put myself in a situation like that 
Mm-hmm. Knowing that, like, okay, babe, I got herpes. Well, babe, we can't rub. We can't nothing. No, we can't do nothing. Me. We can't even sit oh, next to you. No, I'm good, homie. I don't want to sit on your go. lap. Like, no. Him really? No, I don't want to be nowhere near you. I'm I'm good. Just You stay on that side of town and I'll stay over here. Thank you. Have a nice day. <laughs> text I don't play that shit. Text text you. We can be text buddies. Hold on, hold on. We can be text buddies. I just heard the That's song right. in my head. You get no love. Hold on. That's how you would treat a nigga for being honest with you? Uh, <laughs> dear, honesty comes at a price. Yes, you are I'm honest, not, uh, but yes, you I'm have an STD. I need to go the other way. No, no, I'm not trying to hear that. Y'all bitch and mom. You can go in and go in and go in. I'm going to hear this for goddamn fucking truth. It's the fucking truth. Don't, know why, hey, don't nobody want to be around nobody hey, having to get an STD. Hey, hey, Come on, hey, now, don't hey, lie. Hey, don't no, lie. No, no. So, okay. No. Okay, so, no, so, no, first thing no, you brought that up. No, no, no first thing you brought that up. I know where you're going to go. Bullshit. And they're always complaining. Niggas be lying and they ain't never honest. Just keep it 100. So he sits you down like, you know what, babe? I'm going to be real with you because I like you, and I want to see where this go. But before we, you know, before we hit, the, you know, the gas pedal, I got to be real with you. I'm carrying a little something, but, you know, I get my daily checkups. I got my pills. You know, you can't catch this. Okay, then I got to go. And Listen. then you sent me in a penalty box. I'm like, I got, wait, you. wait, no. wait, wait, wait. No. You honest, and I commend you for that. I, I thank you for being real. But why am I going to continue hanging out with someone number one and I might even want to try to fuck not after that shit? I don't want to be nowhere oh, near you while I can catch feelings like that. Catch feelings, really catch that TV. I'm good. No, 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 like, don't, like, don't say you don't want to be nowhere near me. See, that's why niggas lie now. And that's why I get out of You ain't never lied to me, so what the fuck you talking about, homie? What? That's not justifying why men lie. Like, you can't justify men lying because yeah, I'm, women I'm don't want to know. That's, listen, no. That's exactly listen to what, what you I'm just saying. said. He can't that's justify that because, listen, if you come to me and you keep it real with me and you say, hey, before we go this route, I have an STD, I respect you for being honest with me, but you uh-huh. have to respect me for being a human being and not wanting exactly. to deal with that. Exactly. Yeah, like, I appreciate you thank giving you. me that option instead of you being selfish and just giving it to me. But right. I'm going to give me the yeah. option to either yeah, deal with it or not. But, and, 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 and you leave me the choice of whether I want to hang out with you still. But you see, and the, the, way you answer, you see the way you answered it. You see the way you answer this, like, you know what, I respect that, Sam. We could be cool, but we ain't going no further than just being friends. Like, Sam, she said, I'm not sitting in the same room with you, like, if I cough. I'm going to fall off. <laughs> 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 exactly. What the fuck but is your point? But check this out. But this is the deal, though. Honestly, Fresh, what a lot of dudes don't realize, it's up to that woman regardless anyway. Damn straight. That's what a lot of dudes don't realize. It's, it's up to them. If if you gonna have sex, it's because they want to. Mm-hmm. It ain't because you want to. It's because we want to. Believe me, it might yeah. look like it. Oh yeah, it's because I want to do this. And yeah, uh huh. Nah, it's, yeah, it's not, dude. Yeah, a lot of dudes that's, don't that's realize it, that, and I'm a lot of dudes you. hate me because I say that. But it's, it's the truth. truth. It's the okay. honest truth. And I'll tell you why. Let me tell you why, Fresh. The reason why, not putting you, I ain't trying to put you a blast on that, but guys, listen to what I'm saying. The reason why is because if we decide to go ahead and do after they say no, we go to jail. (laughs) Yep. (laughs) Nine times out of ten, and I can count them on my hand, how many dudes have came out and said, I got raped. It right. happens. Oh, it happens a lot. Believe really me, it happens. Guys that don't tell. But guys don't say nothing because of pride. And, oh, mm-hmm. man, the police are going to laugh at me. And Ain't nobody going to believe that. that. If my boys find out, man, woo, 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 woo. So, on the other hand, a lot of women go and say, yo, he, he did this to me. This is what he looked like. This is his name. Because nine times out of ten, they know who it is. Mm-hmm. It's usually a friend or something that does this job, which kind of, that shit kind of pisses me off because if you're their friend, why are you doing this anyway? 
That's not right. I don't understand it. But I've heard so many women tell me, yeah, I was raped. It was my friend. And they still say that. Like, really? Mm-hmm. Was, yeah, was, yeah, um, I was raised, and it was that nigga that was uh, my friend. Okay, this far was. too many places in the world for niggas to be raping chicks. Though. I never understood that. Uh, it, that's what I'm saying. I don't, saying. I don't get it. Because, like, I, though, because I she said one. no, you can't say no for a hazard. Like, for every, for every three chicks that say no, there's probably two that say yeah. Just mm-hmm. yeah. who the mouth. If she ugly, yeah. like the bullet fan, like I've taken a lot of ugly chicks down in my life, I would not lie about that. <laughs> Horrible. Trust me, trust, trust, trust and believe, dear, we have taken some ugly dudes in our life, too, so it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We even. Wait, 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 wait. But Some, that's, sometimes, that's the sometimes there, no, 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 baby. Sometimes we gotta play that sympathy card. Oh, he's sweet, he's nice. Somebody says, go ahead and give him something. He can stop whining like he's wet. No, <laughs> it's not just you, boo boo. No, it's not just you, boo boo. Taking one for the team, we done the same thing. Well, with them guys, though, see, we play something called the wing man. You know, you gotta take that. You gotta take that L sometimes, you know. For the, <laughs> we you did, know we what, did bro? too, motherfucker. It ain't just you, nigga. That's playing wing man. We playing the wing woman too. We got <laughs> we got to deal with the motherfucker that won't leave our home girl alone just so he can get off of her cock block. And thank you very much. Let's get back to the subject here. We even took some time. We 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 we, we hey hey hey. We didn't matter for the other. Yeah, we know. We know. It ain't just you. Yeah, I'm Listen, not taking them kind of. I got a homegirl. I got a homegirl. We was then, in. We was then in. Then fine here. Other Wait, than I mean, the I mean, girl. I should not be expecting us to. Thank you. Check Wait, me out. I said a homegirl. You said a homegirl what? We were out of town one weekend, right? Okay, mm-hmm. fine-ass dude, fine-ass dude, next door. I didn't even know he was next door until it was time to leave that Sunday. Mm-hmm. So he packing up the car or whatever, and I'm like, shit, where you been all weekend or whatever? And he was like, oh, man, we've just been out, whatever, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So long story short, I'm like, he's like, oh, come over, come meet me at the room real quick. Shit, okay. So I go over there. His fat ass, funky ass brother. I mean, when I tell you this dude, like he owned a fucking liquor store on a corner, some dirty ass street, some fucking where. He looked like Uncle Ruckus. I swear to God. Like, he, he was just. Oh, that is his brother sitting in the room, like he's finna watch. And I'm like, man, hell nah, hell nah. So I call my homegirl, and I'm like, yo, dog, dog, come yeah, chill with this yeah. dude yeah, so yeah. I can do so me. He can so yes, in my face. Right, right. So, yes, women take a fucking L just for that, too. This nigga was all rubbing on my homegirl thighs. She was just like, man. Now, in another instance, my homegirl, one of, another one of my homegirls was chilling with this dude or whatever. So she was like, come on, let's go over there. I go over there, and I'm just thinking, you know, I'm going to chill in the living room, watch TV, blah, 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 whatever. So come to find out, this is a dude um, that she used to fuck with his brother. So now the brother's sitting on the couch like, oh, well, your homegirl fucking my brother, so why don't you come fuck with me? And I'm just like, nah. Wow. Nah. <laughs> so, hey, this dude was honest, man. He was straight to the point. But, okay, he can be straight to the point, but guess what? I get up and I go to the bathroom, and then when I try to come out in the bathroom, dude try to lock me up in the bathroom, and I'm, like, screaming, no, no. And I, and I had to give him this look. I tried to give him this look, like, dude, no, like, because I'm definitely going to call rape on your ass. Like, just don't do it. He got mad at me. It was like, oh, well, you go wait for her in the car. Bitch, I damn near told this nigga living room up, bitch, because I won't give you no pussy. you going to kick me out. Okay, fuck you and all of that. I go wait in the car, bitch. I went and banged on the door. I'm like, bitch, you need to hurry the fuck up. Because <laughs> I'm not finna do it. Hey, y'all. Like, wait, wait. Like, was he, was he wrong, though? Like, you, you had to be here. Since you're somewhere else. I don't, no, I don't have to fucking give you no pussy to sit on your fucking couch. Kiss my ass. No, 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 no. no. You. As, as a guy, if you not if your friend fucking with him and you not fucking with me, you serve no purpose to be here. I can be I can put anybody alone. I don't need no company. That means you're petty. That is so fucking wrong on like ten, thirty different levels. What? You serve no purpose to be which means you can't get no shit. No, 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 no. You just just told me. I'm about to go off. What the hell? You just told me that if I had her, hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second. I was honest with you. You wouldn't sit in the same room with me. So I'm not trying to hear that. 
Listen, well, okay, but that don't mean I'm going to give you a fucking pussy. I'm not going to give you a fucking pussy. That's not the fucking point. If you want to be bad. This man is fresh. You can find him on Facebook. I lost your goddamn mind. This man is fresh. You can find him on Facebook. You can find him on Facebook. What happened? What happened? Oh, they all fresh like flies on shit, bro. What is this? All this nigga like white on rice, man. What the fuck? Like, first of all, you keep like all I'm saying is you. You saying it's what? No, 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 no. He ain't saying nothing. It's not like that. If she shut up and let me talk, every time I shut up, I'm going to get to the door. Wait, put everybody on mute. I tried to help you. Yo, they got some butter now. Where the cut off folks are? You can fucking serve a person. You can fucking serve a person with fucking breathing. What? I tried to help you earlier. Okay, I'm not did not hear I'm my conversation no, 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 fucking don't let me sit in your fucking house with my girl trying to get her son from your dude, I'm nigga. Just, fuck you. That ain't got nothing to do with you, and it ain't got nothing to do with me. Why you here? That's my house. Okay. You don't live here. The point is, I don't owe you no, shit, though. I don't, I don't fucking owe you nothing. I don't owe you pussy. I don't owe you pussy to your house. Okay, that's why I got my man. I got the you don't owe, owe, you you owe me anything, so you don't need to be here. You're listening to sex battles right now. We're live every Wednesday. That's right. You're listening to sex battles. You hear what's going on. This is what happens every Wednesday night. We come you live live at 11 p.m. You, you can say what you want to say. All you got to do is call. All you have to do is call 760-569-7676. Again, 760-569-7676. The code is 200-446. Tell us I'm rapping. That's why I'm, 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 I'm in the midst of cutting y'all off. I ain't trying to be ignorant of that. Uh, yo, tell us before we go off of here, everybody. I know y'all all heathen. Y'all ready to jump at each other and choke each other. <laughs> <laughs> Cock blockers. Well, I, can't wait for the <laughs> I mean, they got they butchered already because that nigga told me. Damn. Cock blockers. How do you deal with them? How do you get them away? Give my listeners some instructions real quick. Anybody, jump in. Um, if, if you have a cock blocker and you're trying to get some, just get it going in front of them eventually if they feel uncomfortable. <laughs> Nine times, out of, nine times out of ten, I'm a nine times out of ten, if you're trying to if you trying to holler at the pretty female, it's gonna be the ugly chick that's being the cop blocker. So you just send your lame ass homeboy to distract, <laughs> and then you you know what I'm saying you go in for the kill. That's well, all. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> ladies, any ladies. other ladies? Queen oh, I was co-signing. Yeah. Uh, was that Queen? I was co-signing. Yeah, that was Queen. Yeah. <laughs> we done lost Fresh. everything. Okay, what you got to say, Fresh? Go ahead. Fuck Fresh. That nigga fuck nigga. I don't like that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they're not going to go back to Fresh, guys. I'm going to fuck. So wait a minute. They I'm going to fuck. They're going to fuck. They're going to fuck. They're going to fuck. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to see you in a minute. Let me get out of here. Can you? What you got yeah. to say about it? <laughs> hey, hey, like I said, you know what I'm saying? You, you, the ugly girl going to be the cop blogger, so you bring your lame ass home with this straight and go ahead for the kill. Thank you. Before we leave, give give us your info. Where can people find you, Pam? Where'd she go? Y'all done made people up. Made me 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 up.
Forever Queen of E on Facebook. Shanti. Yes. I've been calling her her real name all the okay, time. Okay, but anyway, Facebook, hit me up, Becca, I B Chunky B, B E K A. I B C H O N K E Y with the letter B, one word. Um, hit me up on Twitter, dat B Junk, D H A T, the letter B, C H O N K, and that's it. And and throw out your show again. Let us know um, where to find y'all. That's blogtalkradio.com slash GF Playground. The best shows are on Monday and Tuesday. Again, that's at 9 p.m., 347 308 8610. Much love to everybody who's been listening. Uh, since we started, yo, we appreciate y'all love. We see you on YouTube. Thank you for the love, listening to the show, uh, calling in. Those who like sex battles already, if you haven't liked sex battles, make sure you go to Facebook and like us, Sex Battles. That's our Facebook fan page. You can also find us on Twitter at WCC Live. That's right, WCC Live. Find us on Twitter, on YouTube. Very easy. I don't have any instructions to YouTube right now in front of me, but it's very easy. All you got to do is go on YouTube, type in sex battles. There are other sex battles, but you know us because it's WCC Live is running it. So, yeah, make sure you check us out on YouTube, all our past shows. Boy, we go at it every single week. Like I said, every Wednesday we go live at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, I was going to tell him to introduce his show, but and you did this show earlier, Reese. <laughs> tell me. What's going on next week? Uh, what do I got next week for the Ring Rocker show? Uh, yeah. I, next uh, week, I will be talking about it. Yeah, can you believe it's been one year for us on the East Coast? How no Sandy, doubt. How we've recovered from Sandy one year later. Wow. That'll be our topic for next week. Topic for next All week. right. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you for listening. That's the best of sex battles. There is an after show, so ah, we need to do it. Everybody hang up and call right back in. Thank and you no for time listening. <laughs> or no clam jamming either. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll talk to y'all later. And cut. Y'all hang up and call right back in. We need everybody to hang up, though. All right. So call right back in, we'll do it after show.